How's it going everyone? In front of me is the Pokemon Scale World Galar Region Gym Set. So this is going to be of the male and female trainer in their gym costumes. So this is in a slightly wider packaging compared to normal, which is usually like more of a cuboid one. So it's another web exclusive, so it's in this brown shipper box. So let's get this thing open and we'll go through the main packaging. So packaging wise, this is a lot smaller than the brown box leads you to believe. So here's the brown box again, alongside the packaging. There's just like a razor inside this. I don't know why they didn't just use a brown box that was this size in the first place. But overall, the packaging is small. This is the kind of size I would prefer a lot of the scale world to be in because I think the previous scale world stuff have just been overdone with the packaging oversized since a lot of the characters are quite small. A lot of the Pokemon themselves are quite small as well. Um, so I think that's one of the complaints some people have kind of raised in uh, comments of my previous videos as well. So packaging theme wise is just using that white with some colors that we've seen before. And on the back, it shows you a little bit of the scale world gallery region stuff that I've covered some of them before. So Rillaboom, for example, I've done before. My Corviknight still hasn't arrived from Nippon Yasan, which is a bit disappointing. Leon should be coming out very soon. I believe he's actually out already. I just haven't had mine delivered to me just yet. So let's get this package open and then let's go through the contents. I just wanted to show you guys a glimpse of how this is laid out in the packaging itself, which is a lot more compact than the scale watch stuff has been in the past. So this is a step in the right direction personally. So inside the box you get chewing gum which is pretty standard for most of these scale world figures and then you get the figures themselves so you've got the female trainer in her gym outfit the male trainer in his gym outfit and then you get Greedent, Gossifleur, Roly Coley and Impidimp and then you also get a sheet of stickers so these stickers go from 0 to 9 and they are for adding to the shorts and then the backside of each gym trainer um, if you want to do that I'm not going to do that I'm just going to keep those sealed but let me show you that again so they're not pre-applied, just take them off one by one. So if you wanted 999 on this guy, then just add 999 to the back, the big stickers, and then same, do 999 for the small stickers onto the shorts as well. Same thing for the female trainer. Let's have a look at the female trainer first, male trainer, and then we'll go through the Pokemon. So having a closer look at the female trainer, similar to the boy trainer, which we'll get into in just a moment. I actually don't really like these two. I think they've come out kind of on the poor side of things, especially after we've come a decent way with Nessa and I think it's Rayhan as well. So these have come out not that great in my in my opinion. They might look okay in video, just in person. They could have been a little bit better. Part of that is just because they lean forward so much. You can kind of see already right there. Even from the angle of the male train, you can see he leans forward quite a lot. And that's actually why I've got them in their stands already because they just wouldn't stand on their own. Some of the stuff is actually pretty cool. So for example, the paint for the most part is quite good. There's a few uh, paint issues here with the glove but you know given the scale of these figures it's not awful so that's not too bad but it's just the way that it's kind of like it just overall has a cheap looking finish to it which is my issue with this Nessa turned out really really well this one just not so great I think her hair is a little bit too light as well maybe I'm just being nitpicky face wise it's not too bad for the female trainer and then yeah the rest is not too bad in general you can kind of see the, the extra details there on this side where my thumb is there for the logo and then also going down from the sleeve and then the glove that she's got plus the Dynamax wristband and then on the back so it's plain again as I mentioned so you can add the stickers on there if you want to and then same again on the front I've got the socks here and then the sneakers which are not bad and then at the bottom which is also detailed as well so I'll just take it out right here just kind of show you a little bit without the stand so I don't know if it's just mine but yeah mine definitely leans forward a bit too much and it won't stand so that's kind of a shame. And the male trainers are very much the same way. So for the male trainer then, now for me, the male trainer is a little bit more disappointing than the female trainer. Uh, female trainer, you know, I can kind of give it a pass, let's say, but the male trainer, I just don't really like the way the head sculpt is done. It just looks really, really poor in my opinion. It just looks off the cheeks and the um, jawbone just looks really, really off. And then the head shape just looks a little bit off to me. I'm not a big fan of it. I think they could have done better, should have done better, uh, but it is. What it is for the actual outfit itself paint is pretty much on par with the female trainer so it's not bad you're going to get some minor issues just because of the size of these things so it's not really uh super super bad but it's, it's actually not too bad uh, in the end and you've got the same details that were on the female trainer on the male trainer as well so you've got the one glove option uh, one glove on the hand and then the details on the side of the shorts as well you can see plus his dynamax wristband socks are the same and then the sneakers are also the same and also detailed underneath same thing as well on the back, by the way, that you just add the stickers on. 
and then same again over here if you want to add the stickers so it's all pretty straightforward let's take him off the stand just to give you a closer look at that a cleaner look there you go so without the stand and he too leans forward a little bit too much so he cannot stand Moving on to the Pokemon, so we'll go with Impidimp first. So I've put these all on their stands because these are really tiny and they don't stand very well, if at all, on their own. So I'm gonna take the stand off from Impidimp so it just slides in like so. It's kind of cut out already to put the backside of Impidimp into. He's got tiny, tiny legs you can see right there. So just pink flesh body with its tongue sticking out and the teeth as well. So it's, given how small it is, it's actually pretty clean, cleanly made. So this is actually quite cool because it's nose coming out as well. Right there, really, really tiny. See a little bit of flex in the legs and the hand. My worry is that these might end up cracking, uh, so just don't play around with them too much. That's Impidimp. Then we'll go into Roly Coly. Roly Coly is probably the safest one to handle, I think, or oh, one of the safest ones, just because it's just a big blob, really. So you can see the rocks protruding out, the single eye there. And the same again on the other side. Here's the underside. So the underside is what goes onto the base. So I'll show you that again. Let's plug him in there. Quite straightforward for Roly Coly. Colors are not too bad on both Impidimp and Roly Coly. Let's go with Gossifleur then. Gossifleur, it kind of has that floating uh, look to it. So this one has a really, not the nicest looking of bases, but it's, you know, I, I understand why it needs to be done. You can just take that off. You can see how Gossifleur sits in there. Put that back in just to show you. So that, that's Gossifleur here with a flower on top. And then the extra details going around. The Cosifer doesn't look too bad and the eyes are a little bit kind of rough looking, but it's really tiny, so I can probably give this one a pass. That's Cosifler. And then finally we got into Greedent. Greedent sits on the base quite simply and nicely as well as so the tail just kind of sits like that. Really simple. And this base doesn't look too bad, I mean, because you're gonna really see it from this angle. You don't really notice it, like say Cosifler's one, which was a bit too too obvious. So Greedent looks like so. Decent paint job, again, given the size, it's actually done decently. You've got a different kind of paint from uh, the front belly side onto its main body, and then the tail and the ears, different color paint as well. And of course the details on its face with different nose. And there's little freckles that they've also added onto it, which is kind of cool. I'm not sure actually, I need to check if they missed the paint there, or if that's a mistake. Uh, I need to double check that one, but it's actually not too bad. Again, you're probably not gonna notice something like that, but it's kind of cute actually, this one. Greedent's kind of cute with its big cheeks. So those cover the Pokemon and everything else in there. So generally speaking, I think the idea of this set is pretty good. I think having the male trainer and female trainer as a pair in their gym kits is really cool. I just think execution on these two themselves isn't as high as I was expecting or hoping for. I think after coming from Nessa and Rayhan, these are quite disappointing, especially the male trainer. His just face just looks really really weird and then the lean forward that they've got going on is quite disappointing the pokemon themselves look pretty good they're really tiny so i think given that kind of scale they've come out okay more than okay even green for me is the better one of of them all just because i think he looks quite cute impotent as well gossifer is the weakest one for me just because of the eyes look a little bit on the sloppy side but otherwise you know they're good i would say as a set i think it's a decent set diverse set of pokemon you should still be able to get this online. I got mine from Nin Nin Games. Just double check some of the places because of COVID and shipping restrictions and so on and so forth. You may have delayed shipping happening, but I got mine from those places. I'll cover some more Scale Watch stuff soon. So the next one is going to be Leon and Dragapo. I believe that should be with me in the next few weeks. So stay tuned for that one. Thanks for stopping by. Stay safe wherever you are. See you in the next one.